Hey guys, I just thought I'd make a video here on these uh, nasty sounding motors that you get from Blade or Horizon Hobby. I had three motors, two B's and one A, that were making all kinds of gravelly sounding noises. Uh, so I called Horizon Hobby and they sent me three replacements. All but one sounded bad so I had two bad motors straight from Horizon Hobby so I decided to replace the bearings myself and here is how I've been doing it first I take there's a little grip ring on the end of this motor uh, they're they're quite small if you have some small grip ring pliers then you can use those to take it out but I just use some little small cutters and I merely just grab a hold of one side and it just peels right off and I set that aside next you have two bronze bushings one has already fallen out and I set those aside if the other one wants to come out and there it is next you don't have to do anything now but just grab onto the two sides and the little muscle power this should pull right out. With a little bit more muscle power. And you can see the two halves have separated. I have noticed on here there are two pieces of plastic set inside of here. One is down there, and one is right there. I, oh, and it's got another one sitting right here. I think they're using these to balance the motor. So if you think you got stuff in your motor, don't take them out because they're used for balancing, I do believe. And then I set that aside. Now you have access to both bearings. And you noticed your windings are further down on the plane than this, motor, this bearing. So we need to keep these protected so you don't ruin them. The first one I do is I take the bottom bearing out first. Use a vise that's more stable. Take it off to the side a little bit. the bearing falls out. Now I use the same thing on the other side except I use a socket and put it right smack in the middle and now that I have a larger opening I can actually use a real punch make sure you're right smack in the middle of it so you don't hit the windings. And the bearing comes out. Looks like this one wasn't put together very well. And so I will discard both of these cheap Chinese bearings. And now I have purchased bearings from Boca Bearing. Here is the part number. They are 4 millimeters by 11 millimeters by 4 millimeters. And I will take two of those out. And here are the new bearings. I like to see if these are nice and smooth before I put them in. So I temporarily put it over the shaft and then spin it. And that one's really smooth. And do the same with the second. And that one is extremely smooth. So the first one I put in is the top. And now I use a 1132nd socket which will go around the edge of the bearing you don't want to just pound it in because you could hit and damage the bearings if you hit that center piece Let's see if I can get this started straight in Thank you. 
and one is in. Now I take the same socket and put it on the opposite side so you don't damage these windings. And we will put this bearing in. Get it started. And that one goes in. Make sure they're flush. One thing I neglected to mention, there is a compression washer inside of here. And I take a tiny, tiny bit of grease from some regular ball bearing and lubricant and put this back in and then join the two halves. And I also do the same with the bronze bushings. Just a tiny bit through my fingers and put both of them on. It doesn't take much grease at all for that. Put those down in. Now you take this little grip ring and you can literally just force it on with your fingernails. I have industrial fingernails so it's easy and it just snaps right back on. And there you have it. You have your motor that is pretty much rebuilt on the bearing end. Hope you enjoyed watching this and good luck.